going on, you guys? It's your boy, Alex West Collects here, bringing you another figure review. And today, we're taking at the WWE Mattel Amazon exclusive three-pack. We have the Tribal Chief versus the Beast Incarnate. Uh, so this was a little interesting. This three-pack, when we pre-ordered, was set for a release date for April 2023. And lo and behold, Amazon changed the date, and it's here in December 2022. Great way to end the holiday season coming up a week before Christmas. We did get the three-pack. Um, so we have Roman Reigns, Paul Heyman, his first elite, and I couldn't even tell you how long uh, since that Build-A-Figure we had many years ago. I want to say maybe close to 8, 10 years. I don't know. It's been a long time. I feel like that was a Toys R Us uh, Build-A-Figure exclusive. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but we have another new update of Paul Heyman. And, of course, we have Cowboy Brock Lesnar with the flannel and the black shirt. We've gotten quite a few Brocks as of late. Uh, we've gotten the Ultimate Edition Series 15, the Elite 96. Uh, and don't forget, we just got the Elite 99 uh, figure when the overalls, which we just finished reviewing. Uh, so this three-pack does look great. I did want to point one thing out as far as the packaging goes. If you remember when I originally posted images of this uh, when we it was revealed, I think it was like a yellow outline. Um, now it seems like the packaging has switched to kind of like a more black and white theme. I don't know. I don't have any information if there's going to be a running change uh, or if it was just kind of changed last minute. I would assume if this is what we're getting now and we had something different, uh, they had changed the packaging at some point and this will be the final. So I'm going to go out there and say there probably will not be a running change, but it does look really nice with the white and the black and the red just pops. And take a look at the figures in the packaging. You can see Roman Reigns. We've seen this figure quite a few times. The head scan is different. We will get into some comparisons. It is slightly different from uh, other Roman Reigns figures we've gotten before. Uh, if you notice, he's got the white Bloodline uh, t-shirt versus the black one we had received with his Ultimate Edition. He does have the red gauntlet as well as the interchangeable hands. Uh, Paul Heyman holding the Universal Championship belt with the blue. You'll see this is the first time we are getting these side plates on the Roman Reigns um, championship belt here that i correct me if i'm wrong i don't think that came with the ultimate i think this is the first time we're getting it paul Heyman, of course comes with a microphone uh the gift of gab he's got makes sense he does look great with that true effect skin cannot wait to get him out of the packaging and brock looks awesome again he's got the flannel on with a black t-shirt both are soft goods he's got the open hand interchangeable hands but you can see the name plates here on the bottom the elite collection it says includes universal championship belt tribal chief versus the beast incarnate true effects detailing Flipping over to the side here, you'll see it has the Elite Collection logo. Sorry, it's a little long of a box. Probably the easiest way to do it. You got the three images of um, Paul Heyman, Brock, and Roman. And flipping to the back, you can see the nice little read-up as well as all three uh, WWE superstars. And on the top, while we're at it, you'll see it says Tribal Chief versus the Beast. This looks really, really great. You got the Brock Lesnar logo here uh, as well as the Roman Reigns in the red. Um, but anyways, let's come back and get all three guys out of their packaging. And starting us off, we're taking at Brock Lesnar. So this is now the third Elite Brock Lesnar that we've received with the same smiling head scan and the ponytail. So the Elite 96 was the first kind of updated Brock since his, he's returned with this uh, kind of new look. Um, and then within Elite 99, we got the Cowboy Brock in the overall. So now we're getting Brock with a smiling scan, but he's wearing the jeans with a flannel and he's got a cloth black t-shirt underneath. So as far as the accessories go, uh, pictured in the box, he comes with these two open hands that are under him. Um, if you guys want to rewind and watch the kind of uh, the box uh, images of these figures, the open hands are underneath Brock Lesnar. I want to say that's an error. I want to say that these probably belong to Paul Heyman because underneath Paul Heyman, you have these two open hands and the figure itself for Paul Heyman actually has... These two hands on the figure. So I want to say these are probably for Brock. Um, but the skin tones match. So I guess you could put them between uh, both of those elites. But I want to say the open mic holding hands were the ones that were intended for this Brock Lesnar. But moving on to the figure itself. You'll see this is the same head scan. We've now seen it four times. We've seen it with the old Mission Series 15, Elite 96, and the Elite 99. And now uh, with this new Amazon uh, 3 pack. It does look great. I love the, the scan on it. I kind of wish they would have maybe went with the... Nah, you know what? I take that back. I feel like uh, him and this cowboy gimmick, he was always smiling, so it kind of suits it. Um, no interchangeable heads within this pack, so that's kind of uh, interesting. But I guess the soft goods uh, plus the championship belt took a lot of the budget. But the scan does look great. He does have his tattoos here on the side. And the big difference is the first time we're getting Brock Lesnar within the, the jeans itself. And look at the nice kind of shading or coloring to the jeans. They look really nice. It's not just kind of that, like blue plastic material that they've used for stone cold steve austin that we've seen in the past and other uh elites and jeans whether it be like dean ambrose this looks really good i do like the kind of shading to it 
and the actual flannel is removable. It is a nice kind of soft material. Take a look at the back. Uh, you can remove it off the figure if you want. And I really do like how this looks. Nice design too. It's got a nice stitch collar. Got the pockets on the front. That came out really good. And here's something that I'm sure it would work with a lot of uh, different generic figures. Just a plain black tank top. Uh, Velcro's in the back. You can remove it. This is just, like I said, it's good for any type of fix-up or something. Um, looks a little on the thin side, but it does feel really nice. Doesn't feel cheap. Uh, looks pretty good. And you get the Brock Lesnar torso on this jeans mold. Now, I was, I'll be honest, I was a little concerned that maybe he'd be a little too short with these jeans. Because I feel like a lot of the um, kind of elites that we've gotten within the jeans are either too small or too tall. I mean, look at the AJ Styles that we got in the jeans. He's just way too, like, out of scale. Um, and we will do some comparisons with the other elites. But again, you can see the nice tattoo details. He's got the knife on his chest. The big back tattoo as well. Looks really good. But anyways, let's move on to some Brock comparisons. So for the first set of comparisons, we have the All Dimension Series 15 here on the left. And on the right, we have the Elite 96 figure. And you can see the new Amazon 3-pack figure is a tad smaller than both these um, uh, other Brock Lesnar figures that we have. The Ultimate towers well over him, but you know what? He's just bigger. I think that's due to the different torso. Um, not so much bigger than the Elite 96, but he's definitely a little bigger. Uh, but the new Amazon 3-pack Brock is definitely a little shorter than the Elite 96. And that, again, that was something I worried about. Anytime we get someone in jeans, I mean... Like that one time they made the rock on the track pants and I forgot what series was in the late 80 something and he was teeny tiny. So that kind of, I mean, they're limited with the uh, actual molds they have for the jeans. So I think that's kind of uh, the reason that they seem to sometimes be a little smaller. But you will also notice the Ultimate Edition Brock does have the kind of giant balloon arms here. Similar we get with the Hulk Hogan figures. Uh, the Amazon 3-pack does have these smaller, more cut arms. Personally, I like the bigger arms better for Brock. I feel like he's just a little bit bulkier and bigger. Uh, but those are your comparisons uh, between these three. And here's one I'm sure a lot of you guys want to see. So we have the newest Elite 99 figure, which we just reviewed. If you guys didn't watch our video review of this figure, go back and check it out. It is on my YouTube channel. But the Elite 99 in the overalls came with a cowboy hat. Uh, that is kind of my one gripe with this figure. Other than the scale, you can see obviously the Elite 99 is also taller, but... Kind of wish that this Brock Lesnar would have came with a hat if they could have found a way to make it fit within the budget. I would have definitely preferred that over some interchangeable hands or even the microphone that came with Paul Heyman. Uh, but you can see, we'll remove the hat. Same head scan. The Elite 99 is definitely taller. So this is one of the shorter Brocks. Uh, but not to take anything away from it. It is a little out of scale, but you're not. I don't think you're going to notice it on shelves. So I know a lot of us are a little bit of a stickler when it comes to scaling, but you know what? I think it's passable. And if you guys are curious, I'm sure you all wanted to see it. This would probably complete the look. If you guys can get an extra Elite 99, throw a cowboy hat on this Brock, it definitely will complete the look. That looks great. Moving right along to Roman Reigns. So the accessories he does come with are a set of interchangeable mic holding hands. He does have two fisted hands that come on the figure itself, as well as the Universal Championship belt with the Roman Reigns side plates. That looks really nice. I do like how it looks. Got the vac finish. Uh, with the blue strap looks really good uh and for the first time we are getting the white bloodline shirt so this is identical to the shirt we got with the ultimate edition figure obviously just in the white versus the black you got the bloodline logo on the front you will notice roman reigns does have a new head scan unfortunately mine has a little bit of i don't know if that's glue marks mixed with some paint but i um, definitely gonna maybe try to take some goof off to that and kind of clean it up but this is a different head scan he kind of has more of that snarl to him um, if you do remember, uh, the old mission kind of had more of a plain face. Obviously, also came with the screaming scan for him doing his spear. But it doesn't look too bad. Obviously, this is going to be probably the least exciting figure from the set. Uh, Roman's gimmick or his look just doesn't change too much for to really um, excite you for some new gear or something. But I'm waiting for them to finally release those kind of red boots he wears uh, in ring to kind of just change it up. I feel like we've gotten the same... Kind of look for him from the shield and all that. Obviously, again, he hasn't changed his gimmick or his look uh, too much. Uh, but you'll see it's very similar to prior elites we've gone. He does have the red gauntlet. You'll see the nice sculpted designs on there with the Roman Reigns logo. The other black gauntlet. I'm so happy they brought these back because I remember at one point they were painting these on the arms. Just looks so much better. He's got the double jointed pinless elbows. The ge generic black pants and boots that we've seen over and over again. He does have the full tattoo on the back as well. 
Um, and, you know, it doesn't look too bad, but again, probably the least exciting figure from the set. And if you guys want to take a close-up look at the shirt off of the figure, got the Bloodline logo, Velcro's on in the back. Uh, let's go jump to some Roman comparisons real quick. For your Roman Reigns comparisons, I have two of the Ultimate Edition figures here, and you can see how the t-shirts look, uh, the black versus the white, as well as the different kind of head scans. And if you guys did want to swap the heads from the Ultimate Edition... Um, and this new Elite. I will say this head I wanted to point out comes off really easy without any effort. I don't know if that's mine. I don't know if that's intended by design. Let me know in the comments below for you guys who are actually picked it up. I don't know if that, that hole is a little different or what, but um, it does really just pop off. No matter how you know snug you put it on, I'm not even really putting any effort in it. It's just kind of popping off. So I don't, I don't know what the deal is, but I did want to point that out. But if you did want to just swap this head on the old mission, because I will say this kind of straight scan... Uh, sits a little low on his neck, and that actually doesn't look pretty bad. I think that's probably the route I'm going to go, um, and maybe just swap the head on one of my ultimates. That looks pretty good. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think. And if again, if you want to throw the other ultimate Roman head on the Elite, that's how that kind of looks. It, it just sits a little low for my taste. I feel like I like how that uh, new head is sitting on the Ultimate Edition figure. And lastly, here we have Roman Reigns next to the rest of the bloodline. We have Jimmy and Jay Uso. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the advocate Paul Heyman here. So his first elite figure and God knows how long. Um, you will see as far as I was talking about with the interchangeable hands. I feel like him doing this type of pose in the ring, you know, introducing one of his clients or something where he has his hand open. I think it makes a little more sense for him to come uh, with these open hands. I could be wrong, of course, but that's just my assumption. It just didn't make sense why we had two of the same mic holding hands underneath in the packaging. But uh, Paul does look great. I mean, I absolutely love how this head scan looks. And he, of course, he does come with the WWE microphone, which looks awesome. Uh, it's kind of the newer style, the new logo on it. Um, and you can see it's on all sides here. Looks really nice. And again, it goes perfectly with your Paul Heyman. Um, and I will say, I do like this um, torso choice. Oh, I guess not the torso. It's the jacket. You'll see it looks like he's got a big belly. Added some extra size to with the oversized coat. If you look underneath, it's not actually um, more of the torso. It's more the jacket that's just bulkier. Um, and that's a really good job on Metallica's. He definitely did look a little slim uh, with his prior Elite. Now, I think we had two basic figures. I Again, I, I don't have them, obviously, on hand. Uh, but I do think there was a single card basic release. And then there was a two-pack with Brock, maybe. But they came out so long ago. So it's nice that we're finally getting Heyman. And let's be honest. Most of us are probably buying this three-pack um, for Heyman. You know, I, I'm sure a lot of us do want the Brock Lesnar. I personally did. Uh, Roman probably is the sleeper from the set. Obviously, we're going to get in there into that when we um, kind of wrap up this video with uh, our final thoughts. But, you know, Heyman was re the real selling point for me. And especially when we saw the reveal, look at that head scan, man. It's just so spot on. More of a modern day Heyman. See, he does not have the ponytail in the back. Uh, just kind of got the horseshoe look. I love the, absolutely love the jacket with the bigger belly. Uh, you can see the blue tie underneath. And the rest is just your basic kind of suited body. He's got the navy blue, uh, blue pants. He's got the old crotch piece. Again, that is going away, starting with a new builder figure, Mr. Perfect. Uh, for the SummerSlam wave, he does have the brown shoes here. And on the back, just your navy blue suit, something you'd expect with Heyman. But all in all, I think Mattel did a great job with it. Um, the scan is phenomenal, and I really like the exercise to the, uh, the jacket itself. For your Paul Heyman comparison, so on the left we have the original Builder figure Elite uh, versus the new Elite from the three pack. And you'll see again the size of the jacket. This was a little bit of a wider torso, but he didn't really have that belly. Look at the difference. Look how much more size he got uh, on with the jacket. Um, the head scan, obviously, it's a this is a very early rendition of Mattel um elite so the head scan is still good i think it still holds up but definitely looks a little more cartoony look how much more realistic this new Heyman looks um don't forget we're getting the paulie dangerously in the legends line i cannot wait to grab that so a few more Heymans coming our way and you can even see look at the double jointed pinless elbows versus the pinned uh, arms on the original build a figure he does have the ponytail if you want to look at the back with the head sculpt uh, both are great. I have no intentions of getting rid of this Heyman. I really do like it. And I hope uh, we eventually get a, a real ECW uh, kind of flashback with him in the long trench coat. That is what I really want.
And here we have Paul Heyman with the rest of the Bloodline, and they all look phenomenal standing side by side. Uh, for the Ultimate Roman, I went ahead and actually swapped on the three-pack head uh, with all the accessories, and that just looks so much better. It sits higher on the neck peg. Uh, it doesn't look like the lay is choking him. I really like the look of this, and this is definitely the way I'm going to be displaying my figures together. Before we wrap up this video with some final thoughts on these three figures, if you guys haven't already, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button down below. We got tons more Mattel reviews coming up, especially with Elite 100 and 101 coming up right around the corner. So make sure to turn those no notification bells and stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more reviews coming up. As far as these three figures go, let's be honest, we all probably purchased this three pack for one particular figure. Uh, you know, some of you guys may have wanted Brock. Uh, with a flannel. Uh, some of you guys may have just wanted a Heyman. You never had your shot again. Elite Heyman, here's your chance. Uh, I'll be honest, Roman is the weakest uh, link out of this set. But I will say, I do like him more than I thought I was going to. I do actually like the newer head scan. Uh, unfortunately, mine has a little bit of some kind of like uh, paint bleeding on there, but this game looks pretty good. I think what I'm going to do is take that and throw it on my one of my extra ultimate uh, edition Romans for my display. Um, I'm not crazy about the white t-shirt. I just personally like the black one. That's going to be a preference. Uh, you do get uh, a nice uh, universal title with the Roman side plate, so I will probably keep uh, the head and the, the side plates. I think I'm probably going to throw uh, uh, the Elite on eBay or just use it for trade bait because I just I don't have any need for an Elite Roman. I feel like the Ultimate uh, is just the one perfect one for my collection. Brock, I will say my biggest complaint is the scale. He's too short, uh, but other than that, I really do like it. I like the head scan. I really like the soft goods he comes with. If there's anything, maybe he could have came with a cowboy hat if they could have found a way to squeeze that in. But you know what? Um, good tactic by Mattel because maybe some of us will just buy some extra Elite 99s just for the hat. Um, but, you know, the rest. Of, other than that, I really do like this Brock figure. It really... You know, brings out that awesome character of the cowboy gimmick that he has. And Heyman, the winner of the set, if you ask me, I think the head scan is great. I love the extra size with the jacket. I don't think he's out of scale. I feel like some people are saying that he's too tall. He seemed to be pretty in line with his last Builder figure. Um, and obviously, Brock is a little shorter, but, you know, Roman is 6'3. I think Brock is also listed as 6'3. So I think Heyman's within the scale. Um, and it just is. Head scan just looks so lifelike. It's nice to have a modern day Paul Heyman in my collection. So I'll say if you guys can grab this on Amazon, it's unavailable right now, but keep checking the link. I'm sure they will restock. I say go ahead and grab it. I know it's a little expensive, uh, especially within the economy and how it is now. We got to be a little more se selective with the figures we buy, but you know, the Brock figure is fun. You get a few extra pieces for from Roman. You can use them on your ultimate if you have it. And the Heyman is definitely a must. I feel like it is needed for your modern day collection. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more great figure content. I will catch you all on the next one.